The long-awaited apology by the Pope to Indigenous people on their own land happened this summer. Sharnel Anderson covers the Northwest for Ontario Hubs, and she joins us now from Thunder Bay on reaction to that. Welcome. Hi, Dan. All right, so you spoke to three Indigenous leaders for their thoughts on the apology, but before I ask uh, you about that, here's a reminder of what the Pope said. He said, I am sorry. I ask for forgiveness in particular for the ways in which many members of the church and of religious communities cooperated, not least through their indifference in projects of cultural destruction and forced assimilation promoted by the governments of that time, which culminated in the system of residential schools. All right, Charnel, what did the Deputy Grand Chief of Nishinaabe Aski Nation have to say about the apology? So in July, uh, Annie, Anna Betty traveled to Muskwachese, Alberta, uh, with some residential school survivors to witness the apology. And when we spoke after the apology, you know, she told me that she didn't really feel it was her place to say whether she accepted or not. She said it was really up to the survivors, you know, the people that endured the abuse in Canada's residential school system that can make the decision about whether to accept the apology or not. Um, you know, but after the apology, she did speak with some survivors who said it was a really meaningful experience for them. You know, this is something that people have been waiting for since at least 2015, you know, to have the Pope apologize for the church's role in the residential school system in Canada on Indigenous soil where these horrific events took place. So it was meaningful for some people. But Anna Betty said that we also have to acknowledge, you know, the people who were angry about the visit, the people who were triggered from it. You know, the people who maybe have family members that were residential school survivors that are no longer with us and, you know, didn't have the opportunity to witness this, this apology. So there were a lot of different reactions kind of based on where people are at in their healing journey. Saul Mamakwa, NDP MPP for Korea Wetnung, described the emotional heaviness of the moment, but was critical of the words themselves. How so? Yeah, so Saul was also in uh, Muskwachis for the apology, and he says that, you know, as the Pope was apologizing, he saw people embracing one another, um, crying, you know, living through this heavy emotional experience. And I spoke to Saul the day after the apology, and, you know, after he had some time to digest it, and he said that he felt like it didn't go far enough. Uh, for example, the Pope apologized for physical, verbal, psychological, and spiritual abuse, but he didn't mention sexual abuse, you know, something that's documented in the TRC. So people felt um, that that was, you know, a glaring omission in this apology. And another thing that Saul had mentioned that wasn't in the apology uh, was the doctrine of discovery. So that's a papal bull from the 15th century that really laid the foundation um, and justified colonialism and the seizure of Indigenous lands, um, including here in Canada. And that's something that, you know, many people were calling for the Pope to revoke or, you know, at least revisit, have some dialogue around it. Um, but he made no mention of that in his apology. The beginning of reconciliation, that's what Ontario Regional Chief Glenn Hare called it. What else did he say? So uh, Glenn Hare, he didn't go to Alberta. He said, you know, it was a day for the survivors. Um, so he just stuck around uh, in Ontario. But, you know, he told me that he got a sense from many people that they were satisfied with the apology. You know, he felt that the Pope meant the words that he said, that it was authentic. And, you know, prior to the visit, there were questions about whether the Pope may cancel his visit to Canada because of his declining health. Um, but he came through and he brought back two little pairs of moccasins that were gifted to him by a chief in Saskatchewan, who went to Rome earlier this year, um, you know, she gave him those moccasins as a reminder of the children who attended residential schools. But she never intended, you know, for the Pope to keep them. She wanted him to bring them back when he came to Canada to visit, and he did. So, you know, Glenn said that those were important things for survivors to see, you know, that the Pope had followed through on, you know, his promises. All right, let's talk next steps. Uh, after your conversation with uh, the three Indigenous leaders, what is your sense on what needs to happen next? So, I mean, you know, reconciliation is complex and there isn't necessarily a single consensus about what to do next, but there are a lot of ideas and different things that people would like to see happen, you know, including a dialogue around the doctrine of discovery and potentially rescinding that, which of course would not be easy because of how entrenched it is in law, both here in Canada and elsewhere. Um, but, you know, there's also different different initiatives to support survivors and intergenerational survivors. So I mentioned he would have liked to see kind of a concrete plan for a healing initiative. And, you know, Glenn and Anna Betty both spoke about education. You know, there's still First Nations kids traveling hundreds of kilometers from home at 12 or 13 to go to school. 
Um, and Glenn said he would like to see some support from the Vatican for First Nation schools where students can speak their languages, you know, something that kids who attended residential schools weren't allowed to do. Um, so, you know, as significant as the apology was, Glenn said it's really just step one in reconciliation. A big step, he says, but it's only the first step. Charnel, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for this. Thanks, Jan. The Agenda in the Summer with Nam Kiwanuka is made possible through generous philanthropic contributions from viewers like you. Thank you for supporting TVO's journalism.